the average American high school student uh, can identify 3,000 corporate logos and uh, not a single edible plant. Sustainability isn't currently taught in grade school or high school levels. Our culture and technology have both uh, worked to disconnect our students from those systems that are vital to, to humanity. The 21-day program, Creating a Sustainable World, held in the Dominican Republic, gives the students an opportunity to look in depth at sustainability and poverty issues in a developing world. The students have an opportunity to familiarize themselves with the basic principles of sustainability, such as energy and food and agriculture, uh, water, environment, and even socioeconomic issues. The camp is designed on sustainable principles to show students that they don't actually need all of the things that they have in their home. Um, the ecological footprint of the students when they, when they leave that camp is almost zero. I don't lecture to the students. I think it's far more important to introduce different ideas to them, uh, let them consider the ideas, talk amongst themselves, and then ask questions back to me. It's very important to me not to express my opinion, but to allow group opinions uh, to formulate. The students have the opportunity to live in and amongst the Dominican people and experience a lot of the same things that they Dominican people experience. We actually, uh, we hike to a lot of the villages. Um, we eat with a lot of the villages, a lot of the matriarchs of the families, the, the donas, uh, will cook for the students and, and give the students an opportunity to uh, discuss the Dominican way of life uh, with the local families. We'll spend the next week uh, actually traveling throughout the island, uh, meeting with several leaders from government organizations uh, non-governmental organizations, and even private industry. Although the majority of Dominican people live what is considered to be below the poverty line, um, the people are amongst the happiest uh, that I've seen in the world. Poverty doesn't seem to hinder the Dominican people from developing a very vibrant culture. Literally every evening in the villages and and both the rural and, and urban areas, you hear the loud music and the dancing in the streets. That's one thing that GLA and the students bring to these local villages. Access to technology, access to manpower, and even access to financial resources. Uh, things as simple as water source. A lot of young kids carry water for two or three or four hours a day, and GLA groups uh, have the opportunity to participate in water supply systems uh, that actually uh, put water right into people's homes. Watching the transition of, of the students from day one to day ten is, is simply phenomenal. They come to Dominican Republic with unknown expectations. Uh, they don't know sustainability. More often than not, they haven't seen poverty at this level. Uh, it's quite interesting watching students reconnect over a ten-day period when they learn about all the different areas of sustainability and they learn more about uh, not only their culture in the developing world, but they, they also learn about their cultures at home, the food systems at home, the water systems at home. And it, it, the program gives them the opportunity to see uh, not only how those systems are today, but 